up around Indianapolis. The installation has now started. And News 8's Joe Melillo is live where crews are installing the first section. Good morning. Good morning to you. Thousands of street lights may not sound like a big deal, but this is something that the mayor's office and city officials have been working on for years. IPL is installing the new LED street lights right here between 75th and 82nd on Shadeland Avenue up near Castleton. It actually, you can see a couple of the lights behind me newly installed. This is part of the city's Operation Nightlight Initiative. A total of 4,000 lights will be installed throughout the city over the next few months, years, a total of 4,000 lights will be installed throughout the city. Uh, again, an agreement with IPL will see all of the city's 27,000 existing street lights retrofitted with LED technology, so updated, which will then in turn fund the new lights. So far, 4,000 existing lights have been retrofitted already. City officials hope to increase the safety for pedestrians, motorists, and residents. And then when Mayor Joe Hogsett first took office, if you remember, he ended a 35-year ban on new streetlights. The Shadeland Corridor that we stand in front of today uh, has grown exponentially since the imposition of the streetlight moratorium back in the 1980s. So it is an area that is in in real need for additional lighting, not only for safety related pedestrian and traffic reasons, but also crime prevention and other benefits. Officials say the goal is to install 100 new lights a month. Installing new lights and retrofitting existing lights should take several years. Uh, officials estimate by 2025 the project should be over. A 2017 study actually from the University of Chicago Crime Lab in New York backed up the theory that more street lights equals increased safety. I did put that link on wishtv.com so everybody could check it out. And guys, it is much brighter here on Shadeland. We're just, again, east of the Castleton Square Mall. So much, much better here lit-wise. Yeah, good stuff, Joe, especially because the morning commute's all the darker this time of year. 639 right now. Update on our breaking news when we come back.